small. He's cut it. It's the walk away cut shot pull. Okay, please describe that. Quarter final against Pakistan. That was ridiculous pace bowling from Wahab. He was blowing absolute rockets. Oh, that's a beauty. 149 Ks on the button. I was trying to get the game done as quickly as possible and try to give myself some room because he had the leg side pretty heavily stacked um, in case I wanted to try and pull him, which was never going to happen because he's bowling rockets. I was looking to try and hit that through point in front. I just got stuck and had to sort of try and squeeze it off my chest and get it behind point. And it doesn't look great in slow motion. Um, when I pulled my hands in, I actually hit it sort of where I, pretty much where I wanted to. Bears, he's got it! Is that six? No way. Wow! Yeah, I remember this day. I was, I was pretty fortunate when I came in. You look at the score there, it was two for 330 and there's still seven overs left. Um, so I've come in probably four or five overs before this. Free license to, to play with freedom. And yeah, he was just bowling wide Yorker to a really big boundary into the wind. Uh, with third man still up, I thought I could potentially get the ball over short third man. I didn't expect it to go for six, but I just hit it pretty crisp and um, just, I suppose, got the right angle of the bat. Um, and it doesn't always happen like that. Sometimes you swing too early, hit the back of the bat, hit you in the face, or you completely miss it. So I, I was, I do practice that a fair bit, especially when the ball's away from me. It's easy to practice so you, you don't get hit as often. I back my hand speed to generally try and catch up to the ball. What a terrific shot that is. In the year in the 2016, pretty similar. There was a big boundary on the leg side. Um, there was just enough hold from the wicket um, that I found it hard to go across the line to him. Um, and he's, he was, before this ball, he actually bowled pretty good length. And I thought if I could get around and go left-handed, if I could get one behind point and push that fielder a little bit more, and I could hit a cover drive. But when I switched and it was a full toss, I just I threw the kitchen sink at it, just tried to get up um, and hit it as far as I could in front of point. Because I think deep point was just behind at that stage and just whack it like opposite handed. And um, I was I was pretty lucky. That was the first time he really missed. Um, so that's the other thing. When you've got to get lucky when you do stuff like this as well. So it's, if he had a bowl to least stump Yorker, I probably would have just defended it out and it wouldn't have looked as good. Or I could have got bowled and tried to do the same thing. But um, yeah, pretty fortunate I got a full toss there. Maxwell was a fielder, one of the best fielders in world cricket. Glenn Maxwell got the breakthrough. Nice direct hit that. I don't hit the stumps very, very often. Surprisingly, I hit them so many times when they're actually in. And I cop so much stick from Finchie. It's actually a nice little calming step. What you try and teach a lot of fielders is actually give yourself a bit of time to get balanced and head towards the target again. And to actually see it from behind, that back angle is actually really nice. It's actually to actually realign your shoulders towards the stumps and actually push towards there is sometimes hard when you're off balance, but I knew I had a bit of time to run him out. And yeah, I don't hit the stumps very often, so I was pretty happy with that. Yeah, Wokes pummeled out to the longest corner. Um, and I've just handballed Finchie's easiest catch in World Cup cricket history. I wish you got more credit for that as a fielder. The, the ones that you handball off and make sure that the other fielder safely takes it. Oh, what a grab. What a grab. They make it look so easy nowadays. And that's, that's the thing, in that position, like, I could definitely take the catch myself by throwing it up and then coming back in. But when you're in that position, the safest thing to do when your momentum's going out, you know where the boundary is, just get it, get it safe. Don't make it more difficult than it has to be and try and be the hero yourself and get back in. Just palm it off to a teammate. And yeah, I'd love to take the stat, but um, yeah, when you're playing for your country, just make sure you do the right thing and just make sure it's out.